Hey everyone, back to another exciting episode of Attack Productions. I got Jimmy here. Um, new sets available. We're able to play it now, which is awesome. And Jimmy has brought Goku Vegeta, or aka Gogeta. Sir. He, he's like everyone else who wants to play probably the better deck of the set. Um, there's buttons down below. <laughs> Click them to death for a reason. But let's get into your profile. All right, so uh, we'll start with the main deck, and then I do have the Z deck and side deck we'll get into at the end. Um, this is the, the new boogeyman of the set. This deck is a little overtuned, as you will see. Um, starting off with the leader, Sun Goku Vegeta. Uh, Red Saiyan leader, already good just because it's a Red Saiyan leader. Uh, permanent, you can combo with your rest mode Saiyan cards. It's it, it, This deck did not need that. Uh, I mean, for the cards it needs it, but you should not be able to combo with this shit because this shit's just whack. Um, auto, when you combo with something, top three, uh, at some at a red Saiyan or a unison with specified cost two. Um, really, really solid. Uh, plays into the Z energy um, and also the cards that you're comboing off of your field. Uh, Awaken, when you have a Goku and Vegeta in your Z energy, uh, cool flavor, or at four or less life, it's a hybrid. Uh, tap, untap one, draw one. Uh, and then take your life down to six. Uh, on the back side, uh, you have the same permanent, uh, and then an additional permanent that your Gogeta GT cards can attack your opponent's battle cards in active mode. Again, did not need this shit. It's so whack. Um, and then when you activate Union Fusion, this card gains Gogeta GT, which is important because your big boss monster is not affected by non-Gogeta GT skills. Uh, so this becomes a Gogeta GT, so the permanent will affect that. Uh, the auto, draw one card, and you play a one-drop Saiyan from your hand. Uh, again, did not need that. Should have just been one or the other. Why the fuck did this uh, Bandai make this deck so overtuned? Uh, getting into the main deck. One card in. <laughs> one card in, yeah. Um, we got the Gogeta Unison. Again, absolutely fucking cracked. Uh, auto, when you play it, top three search for a red card. I did not need that shit. Um, plus two. You get to play a one-drop Saiyan from your hand, just like the leader. Again, why the fuck is this a plus two? It should have been a plus one. I uh, think. It, it should have been a plus fucking zero. <laughs> this this unit is busted as shit. Uh, minus four, uh, gain 10k or 15k and double strike becomes a 30k double striker uh, and again. That's battle, right? Uh, or activate battle. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, you just attack with this and surprise the shit out of your opponent. Uh, fuck this card. Um, should not exist. Uh, going into the Gogeta package or the Goku and Vegeta packages, uh, we got the. Goku and the Vegeta. Uh, you will see a theme of uh, Goku and Vegeta having very similar cards, uh, but both of these are pretty much the exact same text. Uh, permanent, these reduce to a one drop in your hand, so they are 20k one drop, uh, but when they come in, they do rest themselves. Um, and on play, they draw a card, and when they're comboed from the battle area, they will also draw an additional card. So these are your best targets for the unison and leader play. Uh, you can Abs just plus an absurd, absurd, absurd amount with these cards. Uh, and they also play into your, like, jank arrival that you have in this list as well. Um, and also plays into your Z energy. Uh, for the jank arrival, we have, again, another pair of Goku and Vegetas. Um, so these guys have pretty much the same effect, but uh, slightly different. So the activate battle, if you have the opposite in your combo area, you can tap one, play them as long as you have two energy. The Goku is a cantrip, draws you a card, uh, and is deflect double strike. And then when you combo the Goku from the battle area, you can tap one to give an additional 5k combo power and your leader card double strike. Uh, so it's um, a side grade to Champa, which is really, really nice. And the Vegeta, when it comes in, it negs something 15,000. Um, it deflect critical, and you have the same auto that when you combo with it, you can tap one and get plus five, but this one gives crit instead. So it's like the uh, Frieza from uh, Divine Multiverse. Um, so most of the time I'm comboing the Goku off to get the um, double strike on the leader, but most of the time when these come down, they'll stick for like one turn and you don't even get to combo them off and get the value of it. Um, you're not exactly energy starved in this deck, but you pretty much have a main line that you want to play and you don't want to deviate from that. Uh, in matchups like blue where they have like dirty burst and stuff like that, so it's going to stop your big boys from attacking. These are really solid to play, swing, combo off, you know, tap one, make your leader card big. Um, uh, just a fantastic aggressive package. The deck would have been already good with just these, and there's still more cards in this damn deck. Um, going into the next package of Goku Vegeta's, 
two of the digging deeps. Uh, so this has a limit one that if your life is at four or less when you combo with this card, it gives your uh, a card uh, plus five for the turn. So it's basically a free sense of being. It does have zero combo power, so early game this is kind of bad. Uh, I usually like just comboing this off into my Z energy to satisfy my awaken. Um, but late game, this card, uh, in conjunction with everything else in the deck, it can just put your opponent into a position where they just cannot kill you. Uh, and then two of the searching for rivals. I was going to just remove this card from the deck because every time I had had it in hand, um, it was not really doing anything for me. Uh, but the last like three or four games that I had played, uh, this has been absolutely clutch because you can just discard him and search out a Goku. Um, there have been some situations where I get to my turn four play and I don't have the Goku for fusion, so you can just pitch him and grab the Goku. Uh, so I would, I, I see some people cutting these completely. I would leave these in. Um, at minimum, leave the Vegeta in and sideboard the Goku for certain matchups. But. Going on to the rest of the main board, some boss monsters. We run two of the black, red Gogetas. Um, I don't know why this card was printed. Uh, energy exhaust deflect, double strike, auto. When it comes in, your opponent warps one out of the hand and uh, neg two things, 30k. Uh, then activate main, limit one for three energy. If your leader card is red or black and you have three or more red or black Saiyans in your energy or battle area, uh, play this card and you, your leader card gets plus five until the end of the next turn. Um, so again, like a sense of being, stack it with the Digging Deep Goku. You have a 25k leader on your backside. Um, just dumb for three energy there and then it's on top of a Deflect Double Striker that already does everything else. Uh, this is a fantastic turn three play, uh, especially if you're at high life total. You just drop this and basically cripple your opponent until um, your next turn and then you drop the actual big boy on them. Um, run three of them, ignore the non-SPR, we actually only run two. Um, deflect, triple strike, blocker, union fusion for four, draw on a card. Um, and this this card just not affected by shit. Um, it's not affected by non-Gogeta skills, so that's why your leader card gains Gogeta, so it will get the ability to attack stuff in active mode. Um, has the auto that at the end, at the start of your charge phase, this card gets bl uh, blipped. Um, auto, when this card attacks and KOs a battle card, uh, or at the end of a turn, it restands. Uh, so he will stick around for one turn at least. Uh, we'll get into the Z deck uh, later on. There's a card that will help with this. But you get an attack, and your opponent's only option is to combo out of this. It's 35,000. You don't get a defensive step, uh, but. It's 35,000 triple strike. Your opponent pretty much has to take this unless they want to combo out, uh, which is possible. And with the amount of decks uh, or amount of draw that decks have, um, this is not a be all end all, but it is very, 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 very strong. Um, it's just disgusting, stacked on whatever else this deck does. Um, Going into some tech options, two Russian Warrior Pans. This is a saying that you can play on your one drop plays. Uh, I think this card was a little overhyped. Maybe, maybe I'm just like uh, in the wrong here, but I think people running this at four is a little too much. Um, on play, it gives a card uh, plus 5,000. And then when it's comboed from Battle Air, you draw a card uh, for free. It's really nice because you can make like a, you know, end up being 25,000 on a leader swing when you play and combo this off, uh, which is really nice. But I found myself wanting to play the Gokus and Vegetas or our next card more often, that being Broly Crown. Um, this is probably one of the nastiest combos you can make in the deck. It's a one drop saying if your opponent has two, uh, two energy open, you just get to peek their hand and rip a 20k. Uh, this is great in the blue matchup because you can peek their hand, see if they got Dirty Burst, and then play around the Dirty Burst by just not playing your big boy, uh, and then just focus on your four drop spams. Um, you can rip your opponent's next play, you could rip their floodgates, like this, this card in combination with the rest of the deck. So it's already a busted card paying this for one, but getting it for free and then just comboing it off immediately, it's just absolutely busted. Uh, I'm considering running four in the list just because of how good it is. There are some matchups where your opponent is just tapping out all the time, so it's not that big of a deal, or not that great, uh, but it's definitely worth thinking about. 
uh, super combo spread, three of the quality super combos, and then one of the Vegeta. Um, I've been testing this out. I'm probably just going to go back to four Raditz, to be completely honest. Um, the Vegeta is nice because it's a flat 10k no matter what. You don't get the draw into your four or less life. Uh, but it's a Vegeta that will satisfy the arrivals for Gokus and will also satisfy a Vegeta in your uh, uh, Z energy. Uh, so I'll probably just go back to four Raditz. I have tested the uh, the new hotness in the Super Combo game, the Beera Super Combo. I think it's ass in Gogeta. I think it's absolutely busted in Sinchino. Uh But then again, I might be proven wrong on that. Uh, for our counter package, one Resolve Renewed. Um, I I was running this at three at, when I built the deck. I did not play it once. Put it down to two. Put it down to one. Uh, I sideboard some more, so not really worried about that. Two Yamcha. It's just a it's just a good card. Um, there's a lot of uh, battle cards played by skill in this format, uh, so you'll hit just about everything for our counter-attack package, two King Vegeta's Imposing Presence, cards busted, uh, one of the better Red Floodgates, um, one testing the op, uh, again I might just take this card out of the deck, uh, it's been nice but I've never felt that I needed it, I'm usually just playing it because I have it. Um, two Wolfang Fist, uh, again a lot of Z battle cards are barrier and also are around like 15k, so just being able to snipe out a uh, Z battle card for free is really, really strong. Uh, three Violent Rays because it is just the best red in the game. Uh, not much to say about it. Really good against Senshin Ron, really good against uh, Pan, especially Pan. Um, good against everything. Uh, for our one ofs, uh, Red Staple, not much to say about it. Uh, one of the new promo Gotens. Uh, hopefully I will be winning tonight and taking home that winner Goten so I can keep this deck a little shiny. Uh, this card is just snap. Double strike, draw a card on play. If you have three or more energy, play the damn card for one. Uh, activate main, tap one, gains plus five, and next something 20k. Removal, double strike, draws a card. Is, is everything you would want in a card. Uh, why is this a promo? Bandai stop printing busted ass promos. Uh, and then our secret rare, Vegito. You will be tapping out on turn four most likely, and if your uh, big boy does not finish the game, this card will just come in to finish the game. Ultimate, deflect, overrealm six, uh, weird for a red deck. Um, you get to peek your opponent's hand, rip a card 35,000 or less, a lot of boss monsters are 35,000. Uh, then your leader card gets 10k until the end of the next turn, so double bean, and he gains quad strike on this card, so he's a 40k quad striker. Uh, for free 99, this card is fucking snapped. Um, I think, I think this is the absolute best secret rare for this deck. You can argue SSB Vegeta, but I think SSB Vegeta is better in uh, something like Sin, uh, where you're going to be going to, you might be going past turn four in Sin, maybe. Um, but this card is just the best secret rare for this deck, and there's no, uh, there's no changing my mind. We'll get into the Z deck. Cool transition from Bancroft here, as he says. Um, Z leader. I think this card is kind of a trap, to be completely honest. Um, the I have not dropped a game with this deck, but the closest game I had, I actually dropped this guy, uh, and it was a big mistake uh, because it almost lost me the game. But you can only include one uh, Z awaken if you're at four or less life, and um, you, you pitch the three. And you also have to skip your charge phase, which is kind of bad, but also kind of good, because if you remember, the A-drop gets blinked on your charge phase, and if you skip it, it you don't uh, have to blink it. Uh, you cannot activate, um, you cannot combo with cards or activate extra cards uh, during this card's attack, and then auto at the start of your opponent's next turn, you switch this card to active mode and then remove it from the game. So you still get your leader swing, uh, even if you miss the charge. Um, and it is 100,000, which is really cool and gimmicky. And if you know you're going to win, to throw this out here and just guarantee your win uh, if you're attacking for the last life. Uh, other than that, I think this is better defensively. If your opponents really got you on the ropes, you just throw this out here as a last ditch effort. And most of the time, they just can't even combo up and touch you. Uh, you skip your charge phase, but if you played right, you might still have an eight drop in play. You might be able to overwhelm 
with your uh, with your secret rare. Uh, so there's some discussion about this card if it's actually good or not. Um, yet to, yet to be seen, at least in my opinion. Um, run one of the SSB Vegeta. Uh, this card is kind of just a staple in Z decks at the moment. Uh, you place one card from your hand upon the deck, uh, draw a card, pick up a life. Not much else to say about it. Just if you need to burn an energy, you burn an energy on this. Two of the rush attack. Uh, nice two drop deflect. Again, this is a 15k um, Z battle card that does gain barrier, so it's great with a uh, um, um, fucking Wolfang Fist. Uh, the auto you combo with a 5k and then you next something 15k. Really, really, really solid. In the active main, if you have four or more Z energy, you gain 10k double strike and barrier. So dual attacker, you get two combos and you get to next something a total of 30k or two things 15k. Uh, fantastic for two energy. Um, two of the starter deck Gokus. So you don't get the bottom effect, which is probably the better part of the effect, but it's a deflect two drop double striker, base 20k. Um, and then you pitch a Saiyan from your drop area, which will have a Saiyan under, uh, in your drop area under him, and he gains barrier. And then if your opponents have four or more life, you also deal the damage to them. For two energy, this card just does too much. Um, I have yet to play it in a match because the cards in the deck already do well enough at killing my opponent, but I can see some matchups uh, where this might be a little bit more potent, specifically the blue matchup. Um, and then one Videl. This uh, this card was just a extra inclusion because I really didn't need anything else in the Z deck. Uh, I do run enough Earthlings to satisfy this, but it's a one drop. You're gonna have two because you're awakening with uh, with your Z energy, um, and you can you know get a free 15k attack and pop something 15k or less. Uh, so really solid for one energy, and you have enough Earthlings to satisfy that. Uh, but that's the Z deck. We will quickly go over the side deck since the side deck really didn't have uh, much thought put into it. Uh, two Mechies. Uh, this is for the mirror match. You just call the 8 drop Gogeta GT and uh, you, yeah. Um, so I also run a Shin. Uh, these are for different uh, situations. Uh, going first or second. Uh, Shin, you have to have three or three or less energy for the effect to go off. So this is best if you are on the uh, are on the attack and not the draw. Uh, if you are going first, most of the time, Mechie, um, or if you're going, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, you choose which one is best for if you're going first or second uh, to deal with the mirror match plus uh, Shinron as well. That only really matters in the best of three, though. That only matters in the best of three, yes. Um, but I just run these because it is important to talk about. And there are outs to this deck where some people think there are not outs. There are definitely outs to this deck. You can counter this deck with cards. Uh, these are just two of the uh, of the options. Uh, especially these being black, you can run them in anything. They are a little clunky sometimes, but if you're against Gogeta, you just have to play Gogeta's game. You're not going to get to play your game. Um, two, Resolve Renewed. Resolve Renewed. Uh, my fourth violent if I really need it uh, This is for barrier hate. I don't really have an issue with wide fields, but uh, there's some barrier cards that I just don't like dealing with so run that uh, One more one more wolfing fist again obvious reasons uh, for the green matchup just because I don't like dormant a Champa because I cannot run a deck without having Champa in it and then I run an additional Broly uh, There's not really any matchup that I, th I can think off the top of my head where I would put this in uh, because it does compete with my overrealm slot with my secret rare, um, but this card is just fantastic. If you uh, if you are looking for something to replace your uh, fighting against fates or your man on the missions, this is the best the next best card. 30k overrealm six for free and pop something. Uh, I don't think I'll ever do an update on this deck because I think this deck is just figured out. I, I don't think there's any um, better option. I, of course, I'm going to work on the Z deck and the uh, side deck a little bit more. Uh, but this deck is snapped. Uh, go play it. I I don't think anything's going to get banned from it, but I think there's going to be a lot of whining over this damn deck. So that means I think you're over to you. Keep my news buttons down below. Feel free to click them. Read your cards. Know your plays and fluff out.